And we're back. Hello everybody. Dark Phoenix Gaming here, and welcome back to Heart of Iron 4 as the German Reich. Now, last time we left off, myself, with a bit of peripheral help from Italy and a couple of my puppet states, had effectively driven the Allies out of Africa. They have South Africa and most of Zimbabwe here, is it? No, Madagascar, sorry. They have South Africa and most of Madagascar under their control, as well as a few islands off the African coast, but other than that, Africa belongs to me and Italy now. And I've also, I also launched a few failed attempts with paratroopers to take over the island of Gotland over here off the Swedish coast and start the long process of removing a couple of the naval bases that the British have been using to launch their invasions of me. Which, once I get that placed, I'm going to need to take over Cyprus, Crete, and Malta to really get all their bases out of the picture. As well as help the uh, nationalists over in Spain with this little problem. But the thing is that I, I've had start going on very recently, I don't know if I'm going to manage to finish enough of this playthrough and actually defeat the British before I have to end it. Even though it's only 1942 in the game, the new Man the Guns update comes out next Thursday or Friday, and I am recording this on a Saturday. So, there's a very good chance I might have to end it prematurely with a bit of creative storytelling via an epilogue, if any of the mods I'm using get updated, just because otherwise, I don't know how I'm going to manage to work around that. In any case, we have these two arms here. Under Von Bock and Rommel. Though, I'm going to have them garrison some of the bits of North Africa. The North African coast, to be specific. Just to try and prevent the British from invading and such. Minimum 93 divisions to pull that off. I don't need you to do that stuff. Try and guard the coastline is all I need you guys to do. And actually, I can remove Italy from that order. The Italians can guard their own damn coast. Right. Rommel, on the other hand... I'm thinking the answer to am I going to invade Iraq or Iran right now is going to be a no. So for the time being, what I'm going to do is set up these forces along the northern French coast. Give them a little bit of a fallback line there. That way, when the British inevitably start 
trying for their damn naval invasion bullcrap, we'll be in a position to do something about that. Speaking of which, this whole thing about how I cannot add more than a handful of submarines, <clears throat> more than like 15 per instruction line, is ridiculous, and I would like that addressed. I'll put a few more in my convoys, though. Our need for rubber has gone up a little. I'm gonna kick us up to three speed right now, just because there's not anything of any importance going on, and the main thing I am doing right now is waiting on paratroopers to finish up their training so that I can deploy them, so I can give this invasion another go. We have to wait for them to hit 20% before I can do that. You are done. Let's start working on strategic bombers now. And I'll swap out our production of the BF-109 for the FW-190. Start getting the better fighters under production. But let's get a few more under naval bombers. I mean, a lot of those naval bombers we're not getting just because of the simple fact of some problems going on right now. By the way, in the other Air Force, I have space for a thousand planes over in Holland, actually. Find me some naval bombers, if we've still got any of those available. Only nine. Very disappointing. Because the thing that I want to do is get a bunch of naval bombers set up to effectively start wreaking havoc in the English Channel. If we can bomb them down enough, then I'm hoping to be able to somehow succeed with a naval invasion into the UK. It's a bit of a long shot, I realize, but it's the best chance I've got, really. But those bastards in the UK and Greece have 12 divisions de defending those little islands over there, so I won't be occupying them anytime soon. Over here, we got them training up from greens to regulars. Hungary claims overlordship of Slovakia. Oh, that's so cute. Hungary? That's really adorable. That do you think you deserve control? over my territory. That's just precious. Um, no. <clears throat> and India's calling for independence in the middle of the war. Nice. Yes, we've rejected it, and the Soviet Union annexes Tenatuva. I just love the response to this. Tena what? Because nobody fucking knows who Tenatuva is. I can't even remember where they were located. 
let's check just for funsies. Yeah, it's down here. And that's a little place on the border of Mongolia that was a former Soviet puppet state. I don't even remember who those idiots are. It's kind of amusing, but also a little bit sad, actually. And while we're on the sub, and while I'm thinking of this, just to do with paratroopers, I'm wondering if it's possible to do paratrooper landings, or do landings and such. And our need for oil is now skyrocketing. What can I trade with for more oil? Your rocks right out. Well, we're sitting right on the border with Iran, but we need a lot more oil than they're willing to give. I could just trade for more oil with the Soviet Union, but I would rather not. Uh, we'll get some from Romania, I guess. Even though I'm trading for a bit more oil than I actually need there. Naval battles are being a little complicated. Italy cancels their lend lease with us. What's up, Italy? You still miffed about my treaty with the Soviets? Come on, guys. Okay. How trained are these paratroopers now? Twelve percent, only going on thirteen, but yeah, thirteen percent. As with all the divisions I'm pumping out now, I'm probably not even going to wait for them to be fully trained. Oh balls, the Soviets have just cancelled their non-aggression pact with us. They're going for their War with Japan national focus. Okay, cancel all their orders, and then we'll draw an offensive line over here in the Caucasus. So if the Soviets decide on war with Germany, I will be ready for them. I hope we don't have to do anything with this, but I'd like to prepare. No, not that. Whatever, just leave it be. <clears throat> that one. And Italians, you can deal with South Africa on your own. Now. They can head up to there. Let me find the two armies that I've got in on this. Army 5, Army 6. <clears throat> that will be the first stage of their attack. Second, just in case that doesn't do it for making them surrender, there's our third stage. Yeah. 
you can attack like that. And that. That. And that. There we go. Hopefully this covers everything we're gonna need to do. At least somewhat. The Frenchies want a lend lease? Why not? How's our construction going? Because I rejigged everything to fix what the partisans we used to have all around were wrecking. And that's doing a good job. even though that probably won't help at all. Let's see, infantry equipment three now. Which is going to take a good long time to upgrade to, but I think it'll be rather useful. And just look at our submarine fleet, 176 subs. Right there. There's, of course, the traditional fleet of 29, but we don't care about the traditional fleet. Hmm. You know, I think our 176 subs might be able to do a good job of my plan at the beginning of the war. Just cut the British supply line. So go convoy raiding, will you? And if the Royal Navy wants to come after me, and my 176 submarines, and they do, they're welcome to try. Though maybe I'm being a little cocky here. What the hell is going on there? Did I just get my entire submarine fleet destroyed? Fortunately, I did not. We're just more into convoy rating than actual direct engagements. Unfortunately, I think things go okay for us with that. Research done. It's this. So, even more on that front, please. That alarm was just naval combat, and it's a combat that we're winning right now. Though the margin is not as much in our favor as I'd like. Now 
Now, if a battle results in the Western approaches, we won. Excellent job. So now let's chase the bastards off. A little bit of Italian air support. I don't know that we'll actually manage to sink the entire Royal Navy like this, but we're certainly going to give them a good pounding. <sighs> the 170 odd submarines we've got here is definitely a far cry from the 40 or whatever we were using at the start of the war. We are now winning the bulk of our engagements. So I hope we can do a better job in future. Hmm. Those paratroopers. paratroopers are all I want in this force for now because I don't actually know if it's possible to land non-paratrooper units using transport aircraft in enemy territory. Some of them are just about finished with their training. I'd like to get everyone up to regulars before we go anywhere with that. Naval combat all over. And we've won every battle so far. I'm glad to see this. Very much so. Okay, we have three regulars and six new recruits. need to have everyone at maximum organization before we do anything, and I would like them to at the very least be regulars before we do anything else. We got defeated in the Western Approaches, apparently. Okay. That's them convoy raiding us. Alright. 76. We lost a handful of submarines and then pulled out. That we got defeated must have just been. The fleet decided to move on for some reason, or some such. That's my assumption, anyways. <laughs> but for now, let's just keep on hammering the British and hope we can make a substantial impact. South Africa is getting pretty close to defeat. about a battle plan with no units assigned. No. That's the one from the F Army 5. What I need to do with that one is rejig it. So it actually has people assigned to it. There. Much better. And I uh, 
I'm actually not planning on an attack on the Soviet Union just yet. But I need those plans in place in case they decide to pull something. Shut down all their close air support. And are working on the naval bomber. Mm-hmm. Excellent. Things are going a lot better for us at sea, although... Yes, our fleet decided to pull back from that engagement because it was getting a little bit too hot, I imagine. Another defeat. We don't have quite the overwhelming edge that you might hope for, but we're keeping the area under German control for now. Hypothetically speaking, if I were to decide that our army too wanted to mount a naval invasion, the total weight of all divisions is 60. Let's check my technologies. Invade with a capacity of 40. But once we hit 1944, or if I just decide to do it sooner, I'll be able to research advanced landing craft. But invading even with the majority of that force would be handy. Anywhere near having what we require in terms of not being green. Lack of enemy commanders is something that we're definitely taking advantage of in a couple of places. I'll give them that. Quite a few down at the bottom that are getting pretty badly hammered. So I'm going to. Distraction, to be perfectly honest. Uh, 
and this may be rather dumb, but even though a lot of our forces are just raw recruits with no real training, I am going to let them get ready to do the invasion of Gotland, I think. We will see how badly this goes. I'd love to just clear out Gotland and then move on to like Crete or Cyprus. Just get rid of Britain's island bases one by one, but I don't know how likely that is to happen. about there as far as our organization goes. And that's a couple of our puppets destroyers there. Oh well. I have to admit that naval alarm is kind of a pain in the ass. Check and see what the organization is like for all of them. Yep, we're maxed on organization. So now... I'm going to launch this invasion and drop us down to two speed. And we will see where things go. Right. And now that we've landed and our nine divisions hold the area, hmm, they don't appear as eager to attack. Wait, I take that back. I wanted to wait for our organization to recover. But they don't want that to happen. Unfortunately, Gotland has extremely low supplies. But once they fail, I'm going to try and push back. If we can take over Gotland, then I can move those forces over into Greece and Turkey. Then start clearing out Britain's other places they're using to be a pain in the ass. Namely, Cyprus, Crete, and Malta. As well as the Balearic Islands, of course, but they're slightly less critical. Because that's more of a Spanish problem than a German one, or an Italian one. Sorry about that. My audio was spiking a little bit, so I just had to go into my recording program and lower it slightly. Let's try to at least get up to 50 organization. Or not. I'll try and attack now, if that fails. Oh well. No, we need the extra organization before we attack. A 
because otherwise I don't think we're going to succeed. So I think I'll wait until we get up to about 60 or 70 organization on these guys before I launch any sort of actual offensive. And now our fleet is back in port making some repairs. Wise of them. And for now, we're almost at that 60 organization, but... I might actually just wait until it maxes out, just to be safe. How are things going for Italy? Uh, they've nearly ended South Africa's existence. Which will be nice, because that will mean the Allies, not including a couple of random islands, like I said, and Madagascar, the Allies will then have no more footholds in Africa from which to get on our nerves. Once I liberate Gotland, we could start chipping away at Britain's islands. But now they're attacking us again. Really, guys? You didn't do so hot last time. What makes you think this is going to be any different? Besides, we have air power. You don't. And air support tends to be a rather decisive factor, as I've noticed. These guys are idiots. They really are. I mean, Attacking without air support? That's insane. And now I'm going to try and launch my own attack. And now... This is a little bit ahead of schedule and will take a while because of that, but I'm going to begin research of advanced landing craft so that if we need it, we have the ability to launch naval invasions of a large scale. Okay. This one push it seems going in our direction a bit. Alrighty. And South Africa has now capitulated. Not much equipment, really. We take one tiny little place down here for some reason, and then we don't. So now the Italians can finish off with that. Hopefully it goes okay. Our port strikes are going decently. And Sweden, you will soon be liberated. So be grateful for that. You will no longer have to live with the terrible burden of independence over here in Gotland, for I am bringing you into the Greater German Reich. Just a little bit longer. Ugh, 
that naval alarm is so distracting, especially when I hear it like this and there's no invasions or anything. And the whole damn thing is just for stupid crap. Like, because the fact that I It was up close to a naval little combat activity or something. The United States ends against fascism. Oh dear. This is going to be a little annoying. And great. The United States has now declared war on Germany. So we're gonna have to fight America now. This is going to be a problem. And they've joined the Allies. Meaning there's now going to be another major power we will have to take. If we would like to win. And I don't think that's going to happen, honestly. So, hypothetically speaking... I decided you guys Okay, that's hypothetical, fortunately. I don't think we're gonna be able to do a naval invasion of the UK anytime soon. Albeit, it would be rather nice. Now go. Get them off that damn island, please. And now, you guys... I want you down into Greece. But it'll have to be there. And 
then those transport aircraft. Can also occupy space there. And those sets of planes can go there as well. This is gonna take some time, but we are clearing up those bastards. We've been a consistent pain in the rear since basically forever. to strategically redeploy. I would like that very much. for landing Heracleon. Do your Eastern Mediterranean shit. Give us control over that. Won't be too long till they arrive. Back on with strategic redeployment, please. I need you to get there faster <clears throat> so I can start planning out my invasion. Once you regain your organization, that is, because. We're not doing this until you have actual organization for me to work with. Mm. And that hypothetical invasion I'm planning with this army is going to take a bit of time. God damn it, United States. Why couldn't you stay neutral like a good country? Or have a fascist coup or something? That would have been real nice. Well, the Soviets are justifying against Romania. I'm going to end up in an unwanted two-front war. I just know it. I just know it. Oh, how are my subjects doing? 552, 424... Now the subs are going back to get some repairs done. I can get a bunch more paratroopers ready and start planning for a mass invasion of southern England. But I don't know how effective it would be. Construction is up. Let's get resource gain efficiency up. Please, for the love of God, 
hold on to that. I need more naval bombers. I don't fucking care. Let's see what you're giving me. No. That's my answer. No. Get up to 110 organization, then I am launching my attack on Heracleon. Just a little bit longer, and we'll be attacking. Let's check while I'm at it. Yep, the Italians have successfully mopped up South Africa. Good for them. Nine and one ten. You are good to go now. But I'm dropping the speed just to be on the safe side. Why did only half of you go? Oh, I forgot to assign the rest. If you didn't, I. Or. Wait, what? Some bullshit from our transports having only recently arrived. Lovely. <sighs> but we have all nine in now. Legionary Romania has just given up Bessarabia. <sighs> Hopefully I can take that back at some point. As I do plan. <sighs> On getting that territory back. And all. We'll deal with the exile divisions thing later. Unfortunately, it takes a while to march across the territory in Crete for some reason. I don't know why it's taken this long. This is like the length of time it sometimes took me to go from point A to point B in Africa, for crying out loud. It's kind of absurd. I could go to closed economy, but I don't think that'd be such a good idea. <clears throat> Do let me know if I'm wrong. Oh, though I don't know if I'll have recorded the next episode already by the time you managed to get that information to me, so I'm not sure how useful it'll be. Hey guys, you mind dying so I can take Heracleon and take over Crete? Cause that would be real nice. And yes, our planned naval invasion of the UK is nowhere near being done. But yes. The tide is slowly turning in this. Okay. 
because once we manage to strip the UK of all their islands they're using it as a naval basis to repeatedly invade me, they'll have to do their invasions the hard way, by manually invading from their homeland, which is going to take forever and probably get intercepted by the Italian Navy. It's still going to take forever and a day to get these guys dealt with and take the island. But I think it's worth it. We're beginning to have some increased resource issues, though. Despite the fact the Axis controls basically the whole of Africa right now. Like I said, Morocco is the exception. M Morocco is basically the Mongols of World War II. Sorry, did I say Morocco? I meant Madagascar. God. <laughs> Madagascar is like the Mongols of World War II. Anyone who doesn't get the reference, go watch the Crash Course World History videos, and you'll get it. Trust me, you should watch those anyways. They're quite funny. And was a little educational. But come on now. God damn it. We're down 4% again. Heracleon should be ours at some point or other. Let's check the status of my puppets again, just because. Uh, what? I'm suppressing these assholes. Are they becoming more independent? Or am I reading that wrong? 404... Yes, 414 now. Romania's 551. should be able to take Heracleon and that last place. Then move on to attacking Cyprus and Malta very shortly. Unfortunately, the British have launched another naval invasion of the Italian mainland. But fortunately, Italy appears to be holding them off. Which is quite nice.
Okay, now we've taken Heracleon. I just gotta hold back there and to retake it, which should be easy. Fire Brigade's research is done over here. Let's move on to the next level of Blitzkrieg. In terms of our research, I mean. And we're just about to beat back this um, attack by the Greeks. Now another attack. And we should have Cyprus as our own. Then I can Sorry, Crete. Then I can move on to Cyprus. Yeah. I'm misnaming everything nowadays, it seems like. Really quite bad. Do my invasion from Kanya. But first, move these transports over in Heracleum to move my guys. Is back. Well, once we're done, I'm going to take a little time. Unfortunately, and looks like numbers are getting to be a little too even for my liking. Looked for a second there like one of my divisions was not attacking. And now I see why. Their organization had dropped to almost nothing. Defeated in the Battle of the English Channel. Now, now Heracleon is ours. Do let's try and immediately drop over to our next target after everyone's after everyone recovers, that is. Their organization, I mean. Uh, actually, on second thought, maybe something different would be better. I'll have everyone move from there. To over at Rhodes. Then I'll rebase those planes. That way we can attack from somewhere closer by. I can do the waiting later. Get over the roads, guys. Waiting. Angetreten. A 
Hello? Uh, is there something stopping them? Maybe Kanya instead. Would be a safer bet. Base is overcrowded. It's what's stopping us, apparently. So let's have you drop off in roots. Having everyone do the air coverage over the Mediterranean Sea. to get set up for a naval invasion. Once your organization recovers, of course. The British down there are having it taken to them. got to get Cyprus and Malta out of the picture. That's really essential at this stage. Then this region will be nice and secure. Then we can start planning for a mass paratrooper invasion of the United Kingdom or some such. Lots of wins against the British in their home territory, though. So, since we're pretty high on organization already, and what have you, I'll be a little generous here. And just wait until it hits a hundred organization. Rather than going all the way. Because if we wait for it to be totally recovered, we'll be waiting for quite a while. There. So now, just because I want to be cautious in case something goes wrong, I'm going to save the game. And now, we will launch our invasion of Cyprus. So go then. Cyprus is ours, and as luck would have it, completely and utterly ungarrisoned. Now, in a few days, 
once our paratroopers arrive and secure Cyprus, we can move on to Malta. And that, my dears, will be the end of the British ability to harass us with their constant naval invasions in this region of space. Give me a bit of research here. So, we're pretty close, and if I wanted to, in about a month, I could launch that naval invasion, but chances are our invasion force would be caught by the Royal Navy, and that would be a real pain in the ass to deal with. So we may need to wait on it for a while. And we're almost done here. And once we take that, I can move my transport aircraft over here. Yep, move our transport aircraft there. And gets us right. going again. So, transport craft from there. Over somewhere else. There's planes there. We'll assign them to Greece. Vicky Francis cancelled their lend lease with us. Uh, right. Eastern Mediterranean. Ourselves in roads. I suppose. Mm. 
then I'll move the aircraft over to roads. And we're having to do a bit of hoop jumping, so to speak. Because I want to get these guys over to southern Italy to occupy Malta next. That's my plan. That. I'll assign them to Greece. So there we are. Not a lot of you. Paratrooper drop. Over there into just one some place in Greece that happens to have an airport, basically. Now Take those aircraft. They can do that. Yes, this is a lot of hoops to jump through, but I can put up with it, I guess. Guys, go there. Cancel your plan. Central Mediterranean love it should do us quite nicely. Once your efficiency cranks up enough, 90%. Yeah, that ought to do her. So now, Malta. Let's just get up to mm, 60 organization. Just to be on the safe side, mind you. <laughs> yeah, they had defenders. But it was only one division. We para dropped in with nine. us the edge, that's for sure. And Malta is now mine. Now I'm going to see if I can't help out the Italians with the little free France problem they've been having over here. But, by and large, we have crippled the British ability to launch naval invasions of us. I call that a win. I do indeed. 
zum Ausrücken. Okay, let's... There's my flute gone. Off getting repairs. The Kriegsmarine is... Getting an Admiral, I think, now. Probably fairly stupid. But I'm going to have them patrol exclusively in the English Channel. in the region is the problem I have preventing me from invading them. So, here's what I'm doing next. You're going to land yourself There. <sighs> and then those aircraft are going to move north. Once those nine divisions land. I'm marching you all to Calais. Tanks might come in handy if I can ever get my guys across uh, the channel, of course, but... That ain't too likely right now.
next, cancel that. Now you can move over to there. Actually, scratch that, you can move to Calais instead. Come on, just get there. Those transports can do southern England. Hmm. Actually, I think a lot of you can use strategic redeployment. Just get to your objectives that much faster. So let's see here. We don't have the naval superiority we require, apparently. How long? those repairs. Gonna be a while. Yeah. This may be a fairly stupid move to make, but... I can't get naval superiority just long enough to get some troops into southern England. I don't rate my odds of doing that too highly, quite frankly, but I think it's worth a shot. Yeah, I'm just basically throwing everything I've got, bastards, in the inane hope that I managed to get enough troops through to invading them proper. I don't rate my chances too highly, quite frankly. But miracles do happen, right? They do indeed. Now let's squish Dover. Well, I've got the manpower to attempt it. Let's squish the bastards at Dover.
Also, now that we're across, I can redirect my air power into doing southern England. That's the place they defend. Or attack another. So now, let's do it. Horribly. Oh, come on now. Come on. So over here. I'll just send them as many fighters as I can, really. But another 400. And then a load of bombers. We can do the same thing. Other few. There. I just need to get them set up and everything. Hold in southern England now. It's a very tenuous one, though. I don't know how long we'll keep it for. To be brutally honest. We've got some more divisions from our paratrooper forces heading up. Those guys should help us out eventually. I hope. And we're currently just getting shredded on all sides here. My expeditionary force is not in any kind of good shape. You guys get back on strategic redeployment. Land in Dover. Is there 
something wrong? They're not landing in Dover. Oh, apparently I don't have enough superiority over the English Channel. That's unfortunate. enough. Ugh, this is so annoying. I don't think we're going to be able to hold on to southern England. This was a pretty bad invasion attempt, I think. We bungled it pretty horribly. That's my conclusion so far. It was pretty horrifically bungled. We've got quite a few fighters. That's going to put us over the limit, is it? Well, those guys can move to there. Newly deployed guys. They can cover southern England. Now... Another 150 for the English Channel. I did not mean to redeploy those couple. But if they can take it, why the hell not? Channel and Southern England we need 70% air superiority. How do I even check what my air superiority is? That's my issue right now. There doesn't seem to be any way to find out how much air superiority you actually have. Right now, as you can see, we're basically struggling to hold on to the little bit of occupied English territory. So 
I don't think this is going to go well for us. But I think this is the point at which I should end this episode, because we've been going for over an hour and 40 minutes now, so this is going to be rather a long one. In any case, thank you very much for watching this episode of Hearts of Iron 4 as the German Reich. If you've enjoyed this, then please leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe to see more like this. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. See you then, folks. See you then.